Hi everyone, I am Ariel Lim and this is Ariel Lim Yoga. So you know who I am, you know what we're doing. Thank you for joining me on the mat today for yoga for when you're stressed out. So in this practice, we are going to move gently, take our time in our poses, stay pretty low to the ground and just have a nice little practice to get rid of and melt away any stress we may be carrying, whether that's physically or emotionally. And we'll start in a nice comfortable seat on our mat. Any comfortable seat that feels good to you today. I am in a half lotus as usual. You can be in Sukhasana, you can be in a hero's pose, whatever feels good. So we'll let our lower body grow heavy. Let our thighs move closer to the ground. As our spine begins to lengthen and we're lifting the top of the head towards the sky, Take a nice deep breath here through the nose, lifting the shoulders up by the ears. And as you exhale, begin to lower the shoulders down and away. Take another nice deep breath, just like that, lifting the shoulders up towards the ears, squeezing them up and exhale to let go. Taking a moment to find your posture. You can close the eyes here for just a moment, scanning your body, settling in, noticing where you're carrying any stress. So that way, as we move through our flow, you can bring breath and awareness to these areas and begin to let go. On your next inhale, we'll rise the arms up and overhead, reaching up towards the sky. You can open your eyes here. And then we'll lower the right hand to the mat and reach up and over with the left fingertips for a beautiful side body stretch. Take a nice deep breath up through the hip, through the side body, through the arm. And exhale through the fingertips. Take another nice deep breath just like that. And exhale to come up through center, reaching up towards the sky. And then we'll lower that left hand and reach up and over with the right fingertips. Taking a nice deep breath along the side body. And exhale through the fingertips. Beautiful. We'll inhale. And exhale to come back up through center and then we'll lower both hands down. We'll begin to walk our fingertips out and lower our right ear towards our right shoulder, getting a nice stretch in the side of the neck. Take a nice deep breath. And exhale to melt away any stress you may be carrying in that shoulder, in the left side of the neck. On your next inhale, maybe you bring the right hand to the top of the head, resting it gently. Take a nice deep breath. And exhale to release the right hand down. Bring the head through center and then we'll lower the left ear towards the left shoulder. Taking a nice breath. And exhaling to melt away any stress on the right side of the neck. Let it wash away down through the fingertips. Take another nice deep breath here. And maybe you bring the left hand to the top of the head, resting it gently. Inhale. And exhale to let go. We'll come back through center. We'll inhale to rise the arms up and overhead. And then we'll take a twist to the right, bringing the left hand to the right thigh or knee. Take a nice deep breath, finding length in the spine. And exhale to gaze over that right shoulder. Inhale, come up through center, reaching the arms up and overhead. And then we'll take a twist to the left, bringing the right hand to the left knee or thigh. Inhale, finding space in the spine. And exhale to gaze over that left shoulder. Inhale, come back up through center. And then we'll take a forward fold, walking the hands forward, bringing our chest and our forehead down. Getting a nice stretch in the upper body, in the shoulders, and in the low back. 
Try to stay heavy in the lower body as you reach forward. Take a nice deep breath here. And exhale, let go. Another nice deep breath. And exhale. Bring yourself forward into a tabletop position on your mat. Have your fingers spread nice and wide. We're pressing evenly through all our fingertips and our thumbs. We're bringing our wrists under our shoulders and our knees under our hips. And we'll move into some cat cows. So we'll inhale to drop the belly, lift the chin, lift the tailbone for cow. We'll exhale to round the spine, lifting it towards the sky as we press the ground away, bringing the chin to the chest for cat pose. Inhale to cow. And exhale to cat, moving in and out of these postures at your own pace. Inhaling to drop the belly and lift that tailbone up for cow. And exhaling to round the spine for cat. Couple more rounds of cat and cow at your own pace. Beautiful. We'll find stillness and then we'll walk our hands forward, keeping the tailbone lifted and lowering the chest down for a puppy pose. It's a great heart opener. Your chest doesn't have to come all the way down to the mat. It's just the intention here. Getting a nice stretch in the upper body and the arms and across the chest. Take a nice deep breath here and exhale. Maybe you can find more depth, bring the chest lower towards the mat. Two more breaths here in our puppy pose. Begin to walk yourself back to tabletop. Bring those big toes to touch. Extend the knees out as wide as the mat, making a V-shape with the thighs. And come back for a child's pose. Growing heavy in the lower body as we reach forward with the hands, bringing our chest and our forehead to the mat. Enjoying this really beautiful, restful stretch. You can begin to massage the forehead, rolling it back and forth along the mat, easing any stress you may be carrying between the brows. Maybe you begin to relax the other muscles in your face, unclench your jaw if you're a person who grinds your teeth like me. Bring it so more awareness and begin to let go. Taking a few breaths here. On your next inhale, press yourself back up, and then we'll come down all the way to the belly, bringing the tops of the feet to the mat. We'll bring our hands by the sides of our rib cage. We'll take a nice inhale and come up for a baby cobra. Just a gentle back bend. Exhale to lower. We'll do that two more times. Take a nice deep inhale coming up. Maybe you find a little more height in your cobra. And exhale to come back down. One more time. We'll come up for cobra. Maybe you find more height here. Inhale. 
exhale gaze over that right shoulder towards the right foot getting a little more of a stretch in the low back inhale come back through center and exhale to gaze over the left shoulder towards the left foot take a nice deep breath here we'll come back through center lower all the way to the belly you can stack your forearms using your forearms as a pillow you can bring your left cheek to the forearms and bend the right knee flexing the foot at a 90 degree angle the half frog pose and we'll just hold for a few moments getting a gentle hip opening stretch this is one of my favorite stretches to do when i'm feeling stressed out you can do this laying down in bed even putting a pillow underneath the knee As you inhale, maybe breathe into any emotional stress you're carrying in your hip area. A lot of us hold that weight in our lower bodies. And as you exhale, let it melt away down the leg, down the calves, out through those beautiful toes. Taking a couple more breaths here on this side. Beautiful. You can extend the right leg back out, bringing your right cheek now to the forearm and bend at the left knee, flexing the left foot, having your leg at a 90 degree angle for your half frog on the left side. Taking nice deep breaths, breathing into those hips. And as you exhale, let go of that emotional stress you're carrying here. And maybe it is physical stress. Let it go. Bring breath. Bring awareness. And as you exhale, let it melt away. Beautiful. One more breath here. Extend that left leg back, bringing the tops of the feet to the mat once more. You can bring the hands by the rib cage. We'll come up for a cobra. And exhale back to a child's pose. This time keeping the legs together, reaching forward with the fingertips, bringing the forehead to the mat. If you'd like a little stretch in the upper body, you can bring the palms together in prayer and bring the hands behind the back of the neck walking the elbows forward getting that nice stretch in the traps this is a great posture for body workouts or if you're tense at your computer bring those shoulders to the ears this will help you release some of that tension here Couple breaths here. And we'll release the hands to the mat, pressing ourselves up to the table, crossing at the ankles, and bringing those legs forward, sitting up nice and tall. You can have a little bend in the knees of having the legs out straight is not good for your hamstrings and then we'll inhale to lift the arms up and overhead and exhale to take a fold this is our pushy motionasana <laughs> forward fold take a nice deep breath breathing into the low back and as you exhale maybe you can come forward a little further Working to maybe straighten out the legs if that is available to you and feels good. Always listening to our bodies. It knows what it needs. 
sometimes we just have to take the moment to listen. And that is why a yoga practice is great because we are dedicating this time to the mat to bring awareness to our bodies and our minds. Another nice deep breath here. Exhale, melting away any stress, any tension. And then we'll slowly roll up to a seated posture. We'll bring the soles of our feet together. This is our Baddha Konasana. We'll sit up nice and tall. And exhale, hinging forward at the hips. We'll begin to press our thighs down with our knees as we lead with the chest forward. Like we're gazing at something just ahead of us. Taking a nice deep breath here. And exhale. This will be our last hip opener of our practice. So if you are holding on to anything, any emotional stress in those hips, this is a great time to bring breath and exhaling to let go. Another nice inhale here. Use your exhale to press yourself back up to a seated position. We'll take a comfortable seated posture, any seated posture that feels good to you. You can take the same posture you did at the start of our practice, or maybe you find something else. Sitting up nice and tall, we'll roll those shoulders back, letting our palms rest gently on our knees. We can close our eyes here. And we'll just take a nice deep inhale through the nose. And exhale, let it go. On our next inhale, we'll rise the arms up and overhead. The palms will meet. Then we'll exhale those hands to heart center. You can bring the chin to the chest, getting a gentle stretch to the back of the neck. As we just take a moment here to scan our bodies, notice how we're feeling here at the end of our practice. Breathing. Take a nice deep breath and exhale. You can open your eyes and bring your neck to a neutral position. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today for yoga when you're stressed out. I hope you're feeling a little or maybe a lot less stressed. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And as always, from my heart to yours.